Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series with real time and live example. We are building an application called Arc Reminders, which is a reminder service for people to remember important dates and events. This is part of that tutorial and we have been covering Bootstrap Navbar in last two episodes I have covered it. This is the third episode on Bootstrap Navbar. The first uh, in the episode we learned how to use Bootstrap Navbar which was with static links. In the second episode we connected the dynamic links into our Bootstrap Navbar. In today's episode we will learn how to create fixed navbars. So before we do that uh, I want to request you that I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please support me by subscribing and liking my videos. These tutorials are good for both beginners as well as experienced professionals. If you have any doubt, just drop me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. So le let me give you some little background explanation on navbar fixed uh, navbar fixed layout. So we can we can use navbar in multiple ways. We can we can fix it at the top. We can fix it at the bottom. Make it sticky. So. That's how uh, there are different flavors and variations of how we can use it. I'm going to show you some in this uh, and with live coding of the project, right? So let's get right into it, into the coding. All right, so this is the story so far. We have built our application header component, main content, footer. We have been able to connect these dynamically from our uh, component. And now it's time to make this navbar as fixed. So for that, what we'll do is we'll have to add a class which says navbar hyphen fixed, right? So using that, um, so we have seen, uh, oh, sorry, should say fixed top. Now to see this in action, we'll increase our content length just so that um, we know that it's actually working. So I'm going to make this as minimum height as just I'm trying to explore, uh, expand the height. So now you see this is scrollable. The data is scrolling. The main content is scrolling, but our nav bar is fixed. So if you remove that fixed top, if you remove this fixed hyphen top attribute, now this would scroll. See the navbar is also scrolling. And what we want is definitely the fixed navbar. So we'll add fixed hyphen top and now see it again. Now it is fixed at the top. Similarly, if we want to fix it at the bottom, so we can say fixed hyphen bottom. So that's the position it's fixing. So now it is always fixed at the bottom. So when you scroll, it's always visible. Right, so these are two flavors that we can use by fixing our nav bar. For this tutorial, I'm fixing it at the top. So you can you can also fix it or you can use it wherever you want. Uh, that's again an option to you, but I'm giving you that option. You can add it or not, that's up to you. All right, so that was all about bootstrap nav bar demo with real time project that we just added and we added it into our application we learned about navbar fixed top and fixed bottom i'll see you in the next episode i'm starting to cover cards so make sure you don't miss the next episodes those are very very interesting and fun in the we are still building that live application i hope you are learning it from it please let me know your queries doubts you have i'll be happy to help you for free thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode